Hey, what's up, guys? How are you all doing today? It's me, your boy, Urban Kaste Kevinesh, back here with another brand new video. And I hope you guys are having a great day. So, welcome. This is my new gaming YouTube channel, and uh, this is my new channel that uh, is strictly uh, I've dedicated for the gaming content. And the video that you are about to watch was actually originally recorded and uploaded to my main channel on who. And only after I uploaded uh, the video, I realized that having multiple different content on one channel uh, only makes things confusing for the audience who originally subscribed to the channel for a different topic of videos. So to make things simple and clear, the gaming content from here on will be posted to this channel and only F1 content like uh, on the race weekend uh, and uh, the news updates that surrounding formula one uh, and new car bike reviews walkarounds point of view videos will be posted to the main channel and that is audubon carster and if you're new to this channel and have interest on consuming content around the f1 world and you are a car and bike enthusiast do feel free to go and check out the main channel i'll make sure to leave the links for the main channel down in the description and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you do like the style of videos that are posted to it and yes obviously uh, if you're new to this channel as well do subscribe to this channel as well and finally uh, i would like to ask something to you all uh, in terms of suggestions on whether you guys would want me to continue posting videos on this uh, alpine one-off season career and finish it or would you all rather prefer for me to just scrape this and start uploading content on the F1 Manager 23 game. Uh, I already have uh, five episodes recorded of this Alpine one of season career series uh, that I will be posting, but I'm curious to know whether you guys would want me to continue from there on uh, to the end or you guys would rather prefer for me to, you know, scrape it and start afresh with the F1 Manager 23 game. So put it down in the comments. Uh, I will be reading the comments to know what you guys would want as a content to watch on this channel. So now that I've got everything out of the way, I hope you guys would enjoy this video, guys. And uh, there's still a lot of things that need to be fixed, but we will get that figured out as we go. So I'm planning on uploading uh, videos with the F1 Manager 23 game as it comes out. Uh, but for now, to start out to get things all sorted and figured out uh, i would like to do a one season uh, career video with the f1 manager 22 so that's what uh, we are here for uh, with the f1 manager 22 game i've already played for about 299 hours so that is my gameplay time uh, on steam so i've done two career modes with uh, about four seasons with each with uh, aston martin and mclaren and uh, as you could see uh, in my load career we are at uh, 2028 with mclaren and 2029 with aston martin so that's how far i've actually progressed with uh, both these careers and i've actually managed to secure a couple of championships with both uh, these teams so i'm here uh, as i said uh, we're gonna do a one season run uh, so the videos will be uh, uploaded till uh, the f1 manager 2023 game comes out so till then we'll be playing this game uh, it is also to see if you guys would enjoy watching these videos so let me know in the comments i mean uploading gaming videos has been something uh, that's been in my head for a very long time now uh, but i've always kind of pushed it away because uh, i don't have the right setup to do any kind of gaming videos right now i can't play the f1 actual physical video game uh, in which you race uh, this is the only modern f1 game that i can actually run and actually can uh, record as a gameplay so until we get the right ideal setup uh, i think we can run with this and i hope you guys are excited about the f1 manager 23 game uh, i'm super excited that game is definitely a little bit more refined than this one uh, as this is the first game it is a bit rough uh, but the 2023 game is definitely a step above it is definitely more polished than this game so i'm super excited to try out the new f1 manager 23 game and i will be uploading a video on that as well 
so for this one year career mode we'll be taking up a new uh team formula one so let's get started together guys so we won't be starting with mercedes we don't want any top teams uh in terms of career mode i have two narratives to go with one would be with ferrari uh trying to take charles leclerc for the championship uh so i think that would be pretty interesting uh if at all you have to go for the top team as you can see in the team performance index the car performance for ferrari is the best out of the bunch and in terms of the driver performance we have the third best driver pairing on the grid and in terms of the staff performance we have the best staff on the grid and in terms of the headquarters quality they they are the third best out of the grid so i think it would be pretty fun to see if we can take charles leclerc to the championship this year because as we know in 2022 uh, ferrari bottled it big time with uh, charles leclerc as they had a brilliant car to start off with the new uh, 2022 season regulation so that would be pretty interesting or else i'm also considering to go with alpine because i've done it with mclaren and uh, i've also done it with aston so i don't want to go with uh, the mclaren or the aston so alpine would be actually a nice bet to try and see if we can build this car to be a race winner by the end of this season and to see if we can actually fight for the championship with this car uh, with fernando alonso so i think that would be pretty fun uh alpha tauri is not something that i'm considering and uh, williams as well they are too slow that uh, in one season we can definitely not uh, upgrade the car to a point where it can be a race winning car by the end of this season so williams is already out of the way uh alfa romeo is a good bet in this game uh alfa romeo if i'm not wrong has the fourth fastest car so taking them to a championship decider is actually a bit easy and that is partially the reason why i don't want to do that with alpine they are the fifth fastest car so they are right in the middle and uh, they have the eighth uh, best headquarters quality so i think there is a lot of work to do there so it would be pretty interesting so let's go with the alpine team principal name let's go with finish um ac ac obviously it's for urban caster we don't need the first time guidance because i play this game a number of times that we don't need that anymore so let's get it started guys and also uh it further makes it more believable that uh alpine actually had a new team principal for the 2022 season so i think it is pretty accurate in that way so let's get started so we are at the bahrain grand prix let's quickly go to the car development and let's try to improve the car so as i said we don't care about the future with the team we don't care about the next season all our focus is for this season and this season only so we can obviously check all of our cfd and wind tunnel time into this uh, this year's car the a a522 so chassis we are going with uh, let's go with this um 20 wind tunnel hours we should be getting the part in 30 days and we have our first grand prix in 11 days and uh these upgrades should improve us uh, in terms of top speed with drs from 11th to 9th and our top speed from 11th to 9th as well so it's quite a sizable improvement the best drag detection best engine cooling and best air flow middle that puts us the seventh best on the grid in terms of drs top speed and in terms of top speed and acceleration we also improve by a significant margin so this is this is good this is going good now putting rushed 22 days three employees on this and then we are going for underflow because this takes the most time to develop so we're going to check in as much as 
possible in terms of CFD and uh, wind tunnel hours. Yep, I think this is good. This this will definitely put us right in the mix for being a consistent point scorer and uh, maybe even occasional podium contender. Uh, who knows? Uh, in this game, all of the cars seems to be locking up all the time, making mistakes. So taking advantage over a front runner making a mistake is quite uh, quite possible. So I don't want to write off my options just yet. So let's go all the way with um, drag reduction as as uh, as we would expect for me to do. And uh, that puts us the seventh best in terms of top speed. In terms of cornering, we definitely improve uh, with our low speed and medium speed. Our high speed stays the same, but we are still the fifth best car. We have the fifth best car in terms of uh, high speed, so that's not a big problem. The top speed with DRS definitely improves from 11th to 5th. That is a significant uh, improvement over where our car is at right now. And that adding with the chassis uh, development, the new chassis should definitely, in combination, these uh, two upgrades should put us right on the map. 113 days. We don't need that. We definitely don't need that. Rushed. Rushed. 54 days. 54 days means we will get this part right before the Miami Grand Prix which is perfect because these are two tracks where you can definitely score a lot of points. Mm. Welcome to the team Vinesh. This is your new inbox. It's good to get into the habit of checking your inbox really. Okay, I will do that. I have done that. So no problem as you'll often receive important emails from different sources. Great having you on board. Audrey Mansho. Okay, I'm gonna butcher a lot of names in this game. So I'm gonna apologize uh, prehand before I commit any of those mistakes. So let's see if we can. I'm going to renew Fernando's contract because I don't want to make the mistake that Alpine did in real life by losing such an incredible talent. So let's try, let's give it a shot. He's cool with the salary, but he's planning on retiring soon. Okay, let's give him four years. See what he says. I hope they have got this one sorted with the new game. This takes the longest time. You know, I hate the fact that we can't just erase this and type in a number with the keyboard. And you just have to sit here and hold on to this arrow mark till it slowly goes up to the kind of price that you want to offer the driver. You know what, I'm just going to stick with the drivers that I have. And uh, let's see as the season progresses. I mean, it's just a one year career, why would I want to change the drivers then? let's get to the first grand prix then guys i mean in terms of uh, qualifying we can get both the cars in in terms of q3 we can make one car enter we can definitely work with a fast lap and let's get to the race ready check Planning clear and green light I'm going to send out uh, Esteban Ocon first and then, you know, right at the dying stage, we will put Fernando Alonso. He's going to have a one lap shot and I'm sure Fernando will be able to produce a phenomenal one lap wonder. Oh my God. What is causing for this static sound? I mean, it's ripping my ears. 
and it's not even that it's consistent guys it's, it's just happening out of nowhere Let's ride on board with Fernando. Where is gonna put? Where is this lab gonna put? Oh, P six. I mean, that's pretty typical of Fernando, isn't it, guys? Just uh, going out there and outdoing his teammate. He's pretty used to that. I mean, we're still a second off pace from uh, the fastest car, and uh, Charles has not put a representative lap yet, so. We can expect for like a P8, P9 with Fernando. I think we are good. I don't think we need to go out again. This is the headphones that's causing this weird static sound. Wait a second. Let me, let me try something else. hello yeah i think i think the issue was with the headphones actually now it's perfect that i've changed to a different one i've actually switched out to uh, my earphones that i use uh, when i edit videos guys i think uh, there is a problem with my headphone it just could not handle the high frequency of volumes moving on to q2 we're actually gonna start our first run in q2 with the same set of tires that we ran in Q1 and let's see what kind of uh, lap times in terms of bankers that both the drivers could put in great okay it's not okay the issue is not uh, with the headphones I can make it very clear now I don't know what is causing this issue I don't know if it is the mic or the screen recorder app it is just causing for what to say it's causing for the headphones or the speakers to just completely crack under high volumes i just don't get it i never had this issue before if you guys had any similar issues like this let me know in the comments guys on how to get it figured out because it's getting pretty annoying Really? I mean, he's just giving slipstream to. Who's that? Is that Gasly? Yep. He's just giving slipstream to Gasly. Uh. I 
I mean, there's not really much that's splitting these two. And Gasly has not put a time that's better than us, so I guess it's all good now. Okay, now let's turn back to the pits, boys, and let's see what we can do with the new tyres. I sent them out a little too early. Uh, oh God, no. Yes, yes. We made it to Q3 with both the cars. Wow, I thought I genuinely thought that I put them both on uh, on traffic. Whew, I'm glad they that they were managed to that they were able to clear the traffic. Mm. For Q3, we're gonna have a very similar strategy. We're gonna start off uh, with the one set. for a banker lap and then we're gonna go for the fresh sets on a final run okay, guys essentially what I'm doing is I'm uh, trying the slipstream tow method where uh, Ocon is actually giving slipstream to Fernando. As you can see, the lap time difference. He's almost five tenths faster than Ocon. So I think right now with this kind of lap time, it's good for eight. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, let's go for the fresh set. Uh, let's see what they can do. I think it is P8 and P10 uh, where we're gonna start our race from. Yep, absolutely no improvement from where we were. I could have probably saved those uh, fresh set of soft compound if I had known, obviously, that uh, we're not going to improve. But I guess P8 and P10 is better than what I expected from the team, from the car. We actually got both the cars into Q3. I think that is a big achievement in and of itself. We are ahead of both the McLarens. I mean, one of the Alfa Romeos. And uh, we have an Alfa Tori stuck between both of our cars. So I guess it's overall not that bad of a day. Valtteri has a penalty. So is that going to push us to P7? Yes. P7 for Fernando. So in terms of race strategy. Hmm. So this is the fastest strategy. Soft, medium to softs. I'm going to see we can do you know what are the compounds that we have we have two fresh mediums and a hard <laughs> this looks pretty interesting soft medium medium I mean it's only a second slower than the fastest strategy that was suggested to us in the first place and uh, the fact that I'm on two medium compounds uh, towards the end, I can actually push the car a bit, hoping that Fernando would not lock up. In that case, I think this is pretty doable. And with uh, Esteban, I mean, he's P10, it would be great to score points with both the cars. So I am thinking. If this is the fastest strategy, 
let's pull one pit stop out of the way mm. let's try to see if we can make a one stopper work so basically what i'm doing is guys i'm going with the strategy number c so soft hard to mediums but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shorten my first stint on the soft compound pit before everyone else and try to put Esteban on a clean air on a fresh compound try to see if we can you know basically do a overcut is it i always get it confused between overcut and undercut so basically you guys get the point i'm gonna try to box before everyone ahead of me or basically before anyone does and uh, try to gain track position uh, on the cars ahead of me as they box later so let's go with that let's not put too much fuel in the car i mean i've never driven or never you know managed a car in this game with the renault engine so i'm i'm not sure as to how this engine is going to perform and how efficient it's going to be in terms of uh, thermal management and uh, fuel efficiency so let's deploy battery as we start the race and push on fuel let's not push the tires or maybe we can push the tires for esteban because anyways his uh, first stint on the soft compound is uh, shorter than anyone so we can afford to push so yep let's start the race guys this is what i'm this is what i'm hearing too guys my ears are bleeding for help not i mean obviously not for real but i mean you guys get the point My God. Ooh. seems like uh, fernando is fancying his chances on the mercedes <laughs> pretty typical fernando alonso kind of performance okay so guys the strategy from here for fernando is i'm going to try to stick to these top 4 uh, in their drs and see if we can finish any higher uh then the guys behind us Okay, we pulled a second gap to Hamilton, so he shouldn't be getting DRS, but we should. That should hopefully help me stick closer to these four. How the hell did he pull back closer to it? How am I falling off pace from these guys? And bigger question is how the hell did Lewis Hamilton close this gap to us again in just matter of two corners? Okay, I guess that is the kind of pace deficit that we have to the front runners. 
I mean, as long as these four battle for positions, that's just going to slow them down, which means it's going to push us closer to them, regardless if we push or no. So I guess our life is just made a bit easier because of this battle. How's the tire condition of the guys ahead of us? Hmm, they are worse tires than us. Did Hamilton get DR? No, he did not. Okay. We were just about hanging out on the DRS range of these guys. I mean, right now the tires are around a similar amount of tire wear level so i guess there's no real performance advantage that we have right now i mean major props to fernando though because he's being able to stick with his top four i mean i, I genuinely expected for us to just completely fall off but we are pulling away from the mercedes which is a good sign which is just gonna help us out uh, on a middle stand with the medium compound We have jumped Russell. Yes, that was crucial for his race, guys. For us to clear at least one of the Merc. Brilliant. Yep, he's coming in. Let's see where. Fernanda comes out 
in relation to the cast that he was racing with. I mean, we are one of the first cars of the top five to box. So let's see if uh, let's see if this early pit stop for Alonso helps him in jumping at least one of the Red Bulls. Okay, the top. Okay, everyone box ahead of us. They've jumped us. Yep. I can still catch up. It's not like we are a million miles off them. We have jumped one of the Red Bulls guys. So it's not all doom and gloom here. I think we could have also jumped Checo if it wasn't for us getting stuck behind uh, Mick. So. So effectively what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to stick in the DRS of Verstappen. I'm not trying to overtake him. Overtaking him is the last thing that I want to do. But I'm trying to stick in his DRS. But I guess Fernando has other plans. Great. I mean, boxing out of VSC, where will it put Esteban Ocon? Circuit in four, time constraint, demonstration, VSC. It's around 20 seconds. And right now he is 25 seconds behind the leader, which means. He will come behind Mick Schumacher, which is something that we don't want. And I don't think the mediums will go. Yeah, it's not worth it. Stick it out. I just hope I... Who's it? Yep, 
that's the that's a insane amount of carnage so my only prayers right now is that under this vsc suddenly i just hope that first happen doesn't just pull a second or two gap to us because that's what usually happens in this game under vsc surprisingly the ai's gain time over the team that we're managing so i just hope it doesn't happen here because we are in the drs of max verstappen with alonso and even with esteban ocon we are in the drs distance of uh, george russell so a solid points is definitely in the cards for us today with both the cars i just hope that i don't bottle it here and this vsc is also helping us with uh, you know reserving uh, conserving of fuel we are already in plus 0.1 with esteban and we are swiftly gaining fuel with uh, fernando as well so all of this is just going to help us towards the end of the race who spun Russell spins that's massive okay I guess P7 is now basically guaranteed unless Esteban makes a mistake nobody's gonna stop us from holding on to the P7 this is going much better than what I had thought guys so I'm not complaining here and as long as we are now sitting in the DRS of Verstappen we're just going to save fuel and we're also going to save some battery so it's overall going to help us towards the end of the race I guess P5 it is I don't think I mean P5 is not a bad place to finish considering we started P7 after qualifying P8. P5 is a great result to take home. So I'm not complaining here. And considering that we've stayed close to the top four pretty much for half the race. I mean there's re really nothing for me to complain about with this performance. I mean my original intention was not actually to finish in the podium it was mostly as I said at the start of the race is try to stick with the top four try to stay in the DRS for as ever long as I can and what it has basically enabled for me to do is I have a beautiful buffer to the car in behind for Fernando so I'm 16 seconds clear of Lewis Hamilton which is just good enough for me to just maintain a very consistent and steady pace with Fernando and just box for the one last time and bring the car home so I think it's a pretty straightforward strategy and if we get a safety car now I think our race is back on with, uh, with Fernando because he has a free fresh unused hard compound Even with a full charge of battery, I was not able to pull away. Well, I 
Hmm. I guess we can't go for the fast lap then. I mean, why is this William stuck to us? Who's it? It's Albon. Being a lap car and he's sticking to an Alpine. I guess it's quite possible. I mean, I tried to pull away from him, but somehow he got back into the DRS again. Five more laps, boys. Keep it together and we are in for a beautiful result for the team. I think this is good enough. Is this the final lap? Are we starting our final lap now? Oh, come on, man. Okay guys, let's savor this moment of Fernando finishing the first race in the top 5. Yep. P7 to P5, stuck with the top 4 for pretty much uh, the entirety of the first stint. A brilliant result from Fernando Alonso and for Alpine, Ocon I think he's gonna fend off brilliantly well to hold on to p7 yep great work great work by both the drivers i mean i think the strategy just beautifully worked uh, with both the cars i think boxing esteban early on the first stint putting him on a bit of a clean air with the fresher tires it helped him jump Russell on track and uh, despite his lockup uh, I think we were able to hold on to P7 with him starting P10 gained three places with Esteban and uh, with Fernando starting P7 after qualifying P8 finishing P5 <laughs> yes this is what we want to see we want to see the team being happy at the end of the race and um, I hope this is just the start of what's to come and I hope you guys are excited for what's coming ahead as well, guys, uh, with this one season in the F1 Manager 22. And uh, in a month and a half, uh, we're going to have a very similar kind of a game in the name of F1 Manager 23. So I'm, I hope, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am about what's to come. And I'm super excited because this is the start of what was something that I was always uh, dreaming of doing for the channel which is a gaming video so yep a brilliant result to start off a first season with Alpine a one and only season with Alpine and uh, Fernando managed to finish P5 I think what helped Fernando to finish P5 was him quickly jumping both the Mercedes to get up to P5 staying close uh, in the DRS zone of uh, the top four it really helped in uh, him getting pulled away from uh, the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton and uh, that first stint definitely helped in us picking up this result with uh, Fernando Alonso so in terms of drivers championship we are P5 and P7 with our drivers and in the constructors we are P3 P3 and we are how many points eight points eight points clear of uh, Mercedes that is a huge result and a great start to the season and also we're gonna have a new chassis for the next race which should improve our uh, 
overall performance so yep supremely excited about that but we also failed to achieve our objective of getting fastest lap in the race i mean we gave it a shot but just we just couldn't do it so yeah exceeding expectations wonderful exactly what we want to see we got a new suspension which we will throw it in fernando's car and let's manufacture another one for esta man So yes guys that would be it for our first ever uh, f1 manager 22 gameplay video of a one-off alpine season and i hope you all enjoyed this video i mean this is something that i wanted to do for a very long time as i said before like a million times i've said before and i hope you all enjoyed and uh, i'm definitely figuring out a lot of stuff as i'm working so be patient we are working together in this we are all in this together and uh, we will quickly get it all sorted and i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did make sure that thumbs up button and uh, let me know in the comments on what you thought about the video and how do you think i could improve my gameplay because i'm new to this i have no idea i'm basically working off with the stuff that i have in hand and i would love to get your input and your thoughts and suggestions on the these kind of series of videos uh, in terms of what i could improve and so on so let me know in the comments. I'm excited to know your thoughts and inputs. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Audubon Cast YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also hit that bell icon and turn on all notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. It's me, your boy, Audubon Cast, aka Vinesh. And I'm out. Love you guys. Stay safe. Peace.